tell you, I have read everything you've ever written. No, I mean it. I mean, when I read Euphoria at midnight, all I wanted to do was become a writer. Oh, please, honey. Listen, if I can do it, anybody can. You just start with half a dozen European cities, throw in 30 euphemisms for male genitalia, and bam, you have got yourself a book. <laughs> My mother, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was actor Matthew Perry in his iconic role as Chandler Bing on Friends. The beloved actor was found dead in a hot tub at his home in Los Angeles on Saturday. A law enforcement source tells CNN there is no foul play suspected. Perry's death is under investigation. Now, Perry landed several high-profile TV roles in movies, uh, in movies and TV, shows like Beverly Hills 90210 throughout his career. But it was his unforgettable role as Chandler Bing that made him a household name. The creators of Friends released a statement saying, quote, he was always the funniest person in the room. More than that, he was the sweetest with a giving and selfless heart. Joining us now from Kansas City, Missouri, where she's been appearing in Always a Bridesmaid at the New Theater is actress Morgan Fairchild, who you just saw played Matthew Perry's TV mom and Friends. Um, thanks so much for joining us. There's an unlimited number of clips uh, that you want to show and you want to laugh at and you want to be a part of, but I, I want to start with how will you remember? You said you were heartbroken. How will you remember working with Matthew? You know, I, I just always remember Matthew as from the first day on the set. And um, it, the show was not a huge hit yet when I started working on it. And he came bounding over to me, and I literally bounding like a big puppy, <laughs> and said, oh, you won't remember me, but I used to visit you on the set of Flamingo Road in Falcon Crest with my dad. And I said, oh, who is your dad? He said, John Bennett Perry. I said, oh, my God, you're that little kid. <laughs> he was like, oh, OK. And so right from the first, uh, there was just that ebullience, that joy, that kind of a friendly and wonderful acerbic uh, but per puppy dog kind of feel about Matthew. He was such a warm and wonderful and funny and um, a creative young man. Uh, you know, I, I was looking at some of the pictures over the weekend of us and realized, my God, this is almost 30 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so we've all grown up together. Uh, the audience has grown up with Matt as their best friend, the person they wanted to be, the person they wanted to meet and know and have as a friend. And um, we all kind of grew up together with me, me being his uh, fake mom. <laughs> it was so interesting. We, for years watching Friends, saw what he showed the world, right? How funny he was, what a great actor he was. But then later in life, when he wrote his book and he came out to talk about his addiction and his struggles, we also saw his reality and his humanity and everything that he has dealt with that so many people could relate to. And I just was moved, Morgan, when he said, you know, I want to be someone who people can come up on the street and ask for help and I can help them. And he wanted his legacy to be a lot about that and not just acting. Well, and I think that was one of the very, very special things about Matthew. Um, I watched him go from a young man, I think he was 23, 24, when we started working together, and obviously had some issues during the time he was on Friends. Um, I never saw it on the set. He was always very professional. But then when you started hearing about some of the things he had gone through, I think one of the bravest things that he did in his career and his life mm -hmm. was to go public to write this book, to reach out to other people, to try to be of help to other people. And that was one of the most endearing things about him is that, as they said in the intro, not only was he always the funniest guy in the room and the quickest wit and the, the most happy and up seemingly, but also one of the kindest. And uh, having, having had friends and family with addiction problems in my life, people that I cared about, I know how hard that is for the addict and also for the people who love them. And I thought it was terribly brave of him to want that to be part of his legacy as a human being, is not only the joy that he brought to people, the great acting, the great fun parts, but also the reaching out, the trying to help other people, mm -hmm. the being honest about what he was facing in life. Because to me, that's what we're all really here for, is to help each other get through this. And, and he was doing that big time. That's really beautifully said. It would mean a lot to him, Morgan, I'm sure. Can I ask before we let you go, what made him so good at his job? You mentioned that you never saw any issues on set. He was always the funniest guy in the room. His delivery, I don't think you could mimic it if you tried to study it for years. What made him so great? 
gotta go to work. Well, you know, I, I mean, I've gotten to work with a few wonderful comics, you know, Robin Williams being one of them. Uh, and, and he had that magnificent quality of just being so quick, so smart, so quick, and that quick turn. And uh, he, could, he could just pop up with something that you were not expecting out of the blue. <laughs> and it made it work, especially when we're working together with this sort of weird mother-son <laughs> relationship that Chandler and Nora Bing had, where he was always so embarrassed by her. And part of his neurosis trying to deal with his parents, which I think a lot of kids could, could uh, identify with. Uh, but he was just always so quick, just so quick. I, and, um, and in real life too, very funny, yeah. very witty, and it affected it affected his acting. His acting showed that that quick turn um, that caught you off guard, that that made you laugh because he was he was just a very endearing, fun, wonderful, wonderful guy. And I send my love and condolences to his family. Um, I just felt that I should do something because for millions of people who watch the show, they, they sometimes think of me as his mom, as Chandler's Aww. mom. And um, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to reach out because I've gotten lots of condolences on social media from all over the world. You realize how many, how many people this show touched, how many people felt that it helped them grow up. Um, that they identified with this character, wanting to be the character or be the best friend. And uh, I just, as his fake mom, I just want to say how much I loved him Aww. and how special he was. And, and thank you to, and let his family know all the condolences I have gotten to pass on to them. I'm just so glad you joined us, Morgan, this morning for all those great memories. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.